Hey, Kat here looking at Binary Edition. We'll start with some of the basics. If I was to add together 0 and 0, I would end up with 0. If I was to add 0 and 1, I would end up with 1. The reverse of that is also true. If I was to add 1 to 0, it would still be 1. And then it gets a little bit more complicated when I add 1 together with 1. 1 and 1 is 2, and when we look at a 2 in binary, it is actually 1, 0. So I put down the 0, I carry the 1 into the next column. If there's nothing else in the next column, then I carry it down and end up with 1, 0. If we have a look at something um, using two sets of digits, let's try adding together maybe 0, 0, plus zero one. A zero and a one is a one and a zero and a zero is zero. Another combination we've got one zero and zero one. Zero and a one is one. A zero a one and a zero is also one and there's nothing in the leftover column. Trying something a little bit more challenging again, let's try and add zero one to zero one. This is where we can see the result of our carry. 1 and a 1 is a 0. Carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 remains a 1. Let's give ourselves something a little bit more challenging. We'll go with, I always try to match the same number of bits on the top as on the bottom. And we'll go something that has more digits. We'll go with um, a 4-bit word. We'll go 0, 1, 1, 0. We'll add that together with 0, 0, 1, 1. So a 0 and a 1 is 1. A 1 and a 1 is 0. Carry the 1. A 1 and a 1 and a 0. So a 1 and a 1 is a 0. Carry the 1. We're not adding anything more to that. So we do the 0. Carry the 1. 1, 0 and 0 remains a 1. Okay, another harder one again. 0, 1, 1, 1, adding together with 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, starting from the right, a 1 and a 0 is a 1. A 1 and a 1 is 0, carrying the 1. And now here we've got three 1s. So with this one, we end up with a 1 and a 1 is 0, carry the 1. So you can view that as being 1, 0, add together a 1 and that carries down to 1, 1. So we put 1 there and we carry that other one across. Okay, so a 1 and 1 is 0 carrying a 1. A 1 and a 1 and a 1 is 1 carrying a 1. Sorry, this is lots of 1s and zeros. So we're left over now with our leftmost column, 1, a 0, and a 0 is equal to 1. If you want to double check your answers, that's a good idea. To double check an answer, I would put this into decimal. So I'll quickly just pop my um, column values. I've got 1, 2, 4, and 8. So this top number, a 4, a 2, and a 1, is equal to 7. And we're adding that together with a 4 and a 2, which is a 6. So by my calculations, 6 plus 7 should result in 13. So I'm adding a 4 to a 2, which is 12, and a 1. And that is indeed 13. So it's always good to cross-check your answers like this. Okay, I'm going to go on to one that um, introduces a bit of a new concept. And this concept is really important when we go on to dealing with negative numbers and subtraction. So first of all, I'm going to just go through the process of adding two numbers together. So I'm going to have 0, 1, 1, 1, and I'm going to add that together with 1, 1, 1, 0. Now I can see from this I'm going to have lots of carrying. Okay, so a 1 and a 0 is 1. 1 and a 1 is 0. Carry the 1. 3 1s is a 1. Carry the 1. We've got two ones and a zero, so that is zero. I'm carrying the one across to the next column, and I carry that down. Now, in my problem up here, I had a 
I used four bits for each number. In my solution, I got five bits. Now the way this will work is that you truncate the carry. So you cut it off altogether and ignore that it exists. And your final answer, we have four bits, four bits, and four bits. So 0101 is my final answer. And that's an important key for, um, as I said, negative numbers and subtraction. Just remember that one. If you carry beyond the number of bits that you're working with, you truncate or cut off the carry and ignore that it exists. Okay, stay tuned for subtraction and negative numbers.